Uh, this is spring uh, week one uh, response to CBC Urban Design. Do our city still work? Uh, <sighs> yes and no. They were work in the idea of like district area. It's like one's for living in, another is for going to shop and stuff. Although well, the heavy reliance on vehicles and other modes of transportation that are fairly polluting, you know, not really that safe, is a really big problem. Has <coughs> our collective search for happiness led us into systems that produce the opposite of healthy living? Uh, yeah, I'd have to say so. How would you describe your ideal living space? Comfortable oh, and warm. A decent amount of entertainment as well. Do you feel that suburban development patterns are linked to sedentary lifestyles? Mm. Basically, do you think the way things are being developed and, and made now are producing more and more lazy people? Oh, yeah, very much so. Do you think this is true in your community? Uh, in a lot of cases, yes. How do you stay active and non-sedentary in your community? Well, I'm not having a vehicle or anything, so I have to walk everywhere. It's good exercise. Uh, <coughs> what did you notice? Well, there are a lot of ways that we could fix the problems, like something that Montreal did, replace, make it illegal to drive vehicles around, and then you pretty much have both free bikes. Uh, it's quite a good idea, and quite it's good for preventing pollution. And it also helps to work on the obes <coughs> obesity problem. People are having to exercise to get where they want to go. What did you wonder? Mm. What of the two things is more cost effective? Because is depending on and whether or not one option will cost more over the other, or will determine a lot uh, on what happens in the future. And what did you learn? The same stuff I've been learning in, in this entire time. There are a lot of good ideas out there, just some need the proper execution.